Hello, Girl Scouts. My name is Kelsey, and I work for the Girl Scouts of Eastern Washington and Northern Idaho. I'm also a troop leader for Brownie Troop 2014. Today, we're going to go through the steps to earn the Brownie Computer Expert Badge. To work on this badge, you will need access to a computer. You will also need an adult for supervision. And before we begin, please be sure to sign your Girl Scout Internet Safety Pledge. There will be a link to this pledge in the video description. For the first step, we're going to use the power of the internet to find some cool facts. The internet is like a giant encyclopedia that is constantly updating and getting bigger. We're going to use a search engine to do some internet research. Search engines like Google and Bing use a sort of special math called a search algorithm to quickly search the entire internet to bring back the most relevant links to articles, images, and videos. Pick an animal that you don't know a lot about. Use a search engine to look up your animal and study it. You may find articles to read or videos to watch. I searched for giraffes. Here's what that looks like. This link for a Wikipedia page about giraffes would be a good one to read. So would this one from National Geographic. If you're not sure what pages you should look at, have an adult help. Take notes as you research and create a list of your top five interesting facts to share. Use a writing program such as Word, Google Docs, or Notes to type out your five fun facts. Have an adult help you type if you need. Use the art program to create your very own masterpiece. You will use your mouse as a paintbrush. Click to put down color. Figure out how to use different colors and to make shapes. If you need inspiration, maybe you could draw a picture of the animal you just learned about. When you're done, save your art to the computer or print out your artwork. Make sure to show off your digital masterpiece to others. Step three, now we're going to use the internet to take a virtual road trip. Mapping websites like Google Maps use images taken by satellites and by special cars to create a giant world map. Use Google Maps to find where you live. Type in your address in the search bar and set the map to show you the satellite view by clicking the icon in the corner. See how far you can zoom in. See if you can see your house from above and see the streets around you. You can also try street view by dropping the little person icon in the corner onto the road. Try the same thing with another place, maybe a friend's house, your school, or the Girl Scout store like I did. Next, we're going to visit a famous place. There are lots of places you can see up close by taking a virtual tour through Google Maps. Some of them you can even go inside. Try one or more of these. We'll provide links in the description. Once you're ready to head back home from your virtual vacation, we'll move on to step four. For this step, you will use email to send a note or letter to someone instantly. Email is short for electronic mail. It's a letter that you send over the internet. Email is a great way to connect with people digitally. If you don't have your own email address, you can ask an adult to let you use theirs. Or with permission for an adult, you can make your own email address for free on a website like Gmail or Outlook. Write an email to someone you haven't seen in a while. Maybe a friend, family member, or your Girl Scout troop leader. You can write about whatever you like in your email. Consider telling them about that animal that you learned about earlier, or about one of the places you explored on your Google Maps trip. You can also send a picture in an email. Try sending a photo of yourself in your brownie vest or sash. Need someone to send an email to? The team here at your Girl Scout Council would love to hear from you. Here's our email address so you can write to us. For the fifth and final step, we're going to have a bit more computer fun playing with music. For this step, with the help from an adult, make a playlist of at least five songs. You can do this on a website such as Spotify, Apple Music, or YouTube, or using music you own in a program like iTunes or Windows Media Player. Listen to songs you like, or explore to find some new songs you haven't heard before. Save them into a playlist. A playlist is a pre-made order for songs to play in. You've probably been sitting at your computer for quite a while working on this badge now, so now it's time to get up and move. Use your new playlist to have an at-home dance party with your family. That's it! You've completed all five steps to earn the Brownie Computer Expert Badge. You've learned and practiced five different skills you can do using a computer. Be sure to share what you've learned with your troop leader and feel free to share with council by email or on Facebook. Thanks for watching.